Right, now, welcome to uh, Home Marsh Stadium. We're about to resume um, serious preparations for the A League and, and ACL competitions. And seeing our well travelled coaches return from uh, overseas, we thought we'd catch up with him and um, see where things have been. Uh, John, the holidays. Wonderful. <laughs> I noticed. It's certainly it. a lot warmer than it is here. <laughs> Um, I've noticed that, me sitting here with um, one shirt and you with your three jackets. Um, and I'm still cold. Yeah, it's interesting sport, isn't it? Um, coaches get four weeks off and the admin keeps working. Someone's got to do it. Yeah. And, and where did you go in the off-season? Just to um, USA, just to the West Coast. LA, um, Vegas and San Francisco, beautiful. You're a big city man, aren't you? Oh, I love it. I loved LA. It reminds me a lot of Sydney, just a lot bigger. Yep. And um, San Francisco was really nice. And I just drove down the coast. Vegas for me, it, uh, I saw a show there and went to see the Grand Canyon, but I'm not a gambler, so that didn't make a, <clears throat> a lot of difference to me. It's no different. It's just a, a more upmarket Adelaide casino and a lot more of them. <laughs> just without a footbridge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got one yet either. <laughs> now, uh, all the boys are back. Next uh, Monday, yep, Tuesday, I Monday. Um, have you had any contact with any of the lads since they've been back? I've spoken to a couple of them, the guys I needed to talk to before we went. Yeah. Um, I've spoken to a couple of them since I've been back, and um, I use the next. Today being Wednesday, I use the next two or three days just to catch up with a couple of blokes and need to, to bounce some things off. Yep. Um, Coming here and had a kick about with Bruce Jute on Monday morning because uh, Bruce had a little niggle that we've been trying to get on top of and um, he seems fine so no everyone's good and I think they're looking forward to um, resuming a successful Champions League campaign and I think that was uh, the thing that we can build momentum from it's you know to finish like we did and to make the quarterfinals I think the players have now got something to, to look forward to and I think they're all champing at the bit I know quite a few of them Aussie Malik in particular Aussie have been able to keep him out of the gym mm. and um, there's a few of them been in doing some extra work, you know, just in preparation. So that is a good sign for me. Pre-season. Um, surely, given the, the enormity of the challenges, much reported problems we had in the previous year, new structure this year, healthy list starting off July 1, is this the biggest challenge of the season? No, look, for me the biggest challenge is getting it right and getting the process right for Bunya Corner on the 19th of September. Um, and that's what pre-season is all about, from my perspective. I mean, obviously, you've got an A-League season to play after that, but that's a game. We're playing a crunch match, a do-or-die game, before any other team in the competition. Um, and it's a hell of an important one from the club's perspective, um, for now and for the future of the club. So we've got to try and get things right for that. But in a broader uh, perspective, um, the team weren't fit last year, certainly weren't fit enough when I came here. And I think we really need to look at the conditioning process. It's, and I've, I've probably used these words, but I don't want people to take it the wrong way. It's, I want to have a pre-season that turns boys into men, so to speak. And um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be challenging. We'll take the players out of their comfort zone, but I think players need to, to be in those situations because you've got to be resilient to survive a, a long season. And you never know what's going to get thrown at you. And if you're physically and mentally prepared, then you can deal with things a lot easier. So pre-season is going to be interesting, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be hard as well. And yeah, a new fellow running it, um, Sean Tag. happy with him yeah, so far? Yeah, good value. He's a, he's a character. He's been at the club before. Some of the players know him, some don't. Um, he's, got, he's young enough to understand the modern football and old enough to have some, some of those old values <laughs> that you oh, and some I Some of those old, think old are, values. Yeah. think are important. Yeah. And what about the roles are reversed now? Last year, when we took on Bunyakur at the start of the ACL, we were um, in season, so to speak, and, and now we're out of season. Does that present some special problems going in in terms of match practice and no, things look, like I think that? We were at the back of a, um, a lacklustre A League season, but at least we'd been playing games. And um, we went to Tashkent with a, a strategy, and we caught them on the hop to some extent and we got the result that we wanted, which was great, and it gave us confidence to go on with it, which is why we're, we're playing a game in September, or part of the reason why we're playing a game in September. Um, Bunyakor having a little break in their season, but they still would have had a solid season behind them. So with that in mind, we need to get back to where we were before in terms of, uh, I guess, match condition, uh, momentum, um, just all the little things that come from playing games as opposed to, to training in a pre-season uh, regime. So we've organised at the moment probably five matches against A-League opposition and yep. 
at least three, if not four, um, against local teams here in, in Adelaide. And um, I think that's about as best we can do given the time constraints on us.